Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making a decorative bunny tray. I got this bunny ear headband from Hobby Lobby, this 8-inch ring from Dollar Tree, this wooden plaque from Hobby Lobby, nautical rope from Dollar Tree, some lamb's ear pick from Walmart, a burlap rose from Amazon, Waverly antique wax, hot glue, and Gorilla Glue. I started by taking the little plaque from Hobby Lobby and marking a spot on one side using my square, or you could just use a ruler, and marking on the opposite side, and then using a 7 64 bit and just drilling a small hole in each of those sides. And then I took the Waverly Antique Wax and brushed it on the plaque and then blended it in with a wipe, and I covered the entire thing that way. And then next I took the 8 inch ring and kind of went along the line where you could see it was connected and just used some snips to cut that. And then I just kind of bent the wire a little bit so it wasn't so round. Took nautical rope from Dollar Tree and once I cut the end off I just pulled apart a piece of it. So it comes in like three sections braided together so I just use one of those sections. So once I had that all pulled apart, I just hot glued the end of it so it would kind of stay together while I was working with it. And I just started by hot gluing it towards the end of the ring I had cut, making sure that I was leaving a little bit of the end exposed because it'll be going in those holes in the tray. And then just kept wrapping it around, hot gluing occasionally. Now you can use twine for this, but it would take a lot longer. Doing it this way, it just covers a lot more area quicker. And I didn't want to use the entire rope because I didn't want it to be that thick. So this worked out really good. So just kept wrapping it around and then towards the end, just making sure that I had a little piece of the ring left at the bottom. And then after it was completely filled in, I just cut off a little bit of the excess and just used some hot glue to make sure that it was all stuck down on the ends. And then I took this headband from Hobby Lobby and removed the fabric around the wired ears and then just used some wire cutters to cut those. And then took that same piece I was working with before from the nautical rope and just did the same thing with both of these ears. Just hot glued it at the beginning of one end, leaving a little bit of the wire exposed and wrapped it around, hot gluing occasionally. And you can definitely use just a thicker wire for the ears. Just need something that would be sturdy enough to keep shape and wouldn't flop over once we put it on top of the ring. So once those were covered, I just kind of reshaped them back into the ears a little bit. And then I took some Gorilla Glue, it's like an E6000, and just placed it on the exposed part of the ring that I had covered. And then put both of those ends in the holes that I had drilled earlier. And next I took the other package of nautical rope and just hot glued that around the top rim of the wooden plaque. So the top of it has kind of like an indent and it's above where I had placed the wire in the side. So I just hot glued that all the way around.
And then I took the rest of that rope and hot glued it to the bottom of the plaque, which is underneath where I had placed the ring in the side. And then next I took the little bunny ears and I had purposely left some wire exposed so I could just wrap it around that ring and then just use some needle nose pliers to pinch the wire closed. And then I'll show you better in a second when I do the other one. So what I did was just kind of made sure one of the wires wrap it like around the back and then the other one wrapped it around the front so it went flop one way or the other. And then I needed to cover those wires so I just took a piece of the twine from the rope that I had pulled apart and just kind of hot glued that and wrapped it around where both of the ears connected, just to get that wire that I wrapped around nice and covered. And then the last thing I did was took the lamb's ear pick and just a couple little pieces from it and hot glued them to the top right in between the bunny ears. And then took the burlap flower and hot glued that right in between the greenery. And that is it for this project. I think it turned out really pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching.